Now, most Americans have heard of Waymo, a self-driving car owned by parent company Alphabet or Google. You can actually get a taxi ride in one of them without a driver right now. But very few people are aware of the fact that a company called Apollo, owned by Beidou, provides far more self-driving mobility services in China than Waymo. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You are watching The Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here today. Welcome to the 8,000 new subscribers that have come on board over the last few days. Awesome to have you. Now make sure you have a look at some of the 625 videos we've created over the last six months. Because if you want to really know what's going on in the automotive industry, you need to come to this channel and check out the videos. We assess everything that's going on all over the world. And that's why we make five videos per day on different car brands, on electric mobility, on batteries, on new battery technology, on new cars, on Chinese cars, on American cars, all of that in the one place. So if you want to support the channel, I'll put a link to our Patreon account in the description below. Now, thank you to our 80 Patreon supporters that have jumped on so far. Wonderful to have you. Really, really appreciate your support. And also thank you to the members of the channel. You can become a member and that gives you access to some of our videos a couple of days in advance. I'll put a link in the description below to how you can become a member. Now, the Apollon, sometimes referred to as the Beidou Apollo project, is a driverless vehicle developed by Beidou, King Long, and a consortium of more than 40 companies. The level four micro circulation Apollon bus commenced mass production in 2017. It is manufactured by a consortium consisting of Beidou, King Long, and SP Drive. The driverless bus does not have a steering wheel, accelerator, or brake, it travels at speeds of 20 to 40 miles an hour and is able to sense and predict movement of pedestrians and vehicles in its vicinity. Well, in July of 2021, Beidou's autonomous driving division Apollo was conducting tests for passenger carrying robo taxis and it had the broadest geographical footprint among autonomous vehicle service providers in China, the company said. It now operates robo taxis for limited public usage in Changsha. Kangsu, Beijing, and Guangzhou. Now, the crazy thing is that Beidou's Apollo is providing far more self-driving mobility services than even Waymo. But I'd guess that most Australians, Americans, and people living in Europe have never heard of Apollo. Have you? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd be surprised if you have. Now, Beidou's self-driving mobility service platform, Apollo Go, is in regular commercial operation, providing 115,000 rides in the third quarter this year. Beidou Chairman and CEO Robin Lee said today, they're adding that this makes Beidou the world's largest provider of self-driving mobility services. You know, I bet you there's not a lot of chance that you would have predicted that there was a company in China right now that was offering more self-driving mobility services by far than any other company in the world. Beidou today released unaudited financial results showing that the company reported third quarter revenue of 4.95 billion, largely in line with Wall Street analyst estimates of 4.9 billion. Now, Lee revealed the information in a letter to employees following the release of the results, saying it was attributed to Beidou's long-term commitment to maintain a high level of R&D spending, which reached RMB 6.2 billion in the third quarter, up 35% year on year. As a comparison, public information shows that Waymo has 365 vehicles in 2020 and orders around 1,000 to 2,000 rides per week with 12,000 to 24,000 orders per quarter. Waymo's fleet reaches 615 vehicles in August 2021 with orders of 20,000 to 40,000 per quarter and around 160,000 drives per year. Beidou's latest figures mean that the company's way ahead of its US counterpart in terms of the number of self-driving travel services in operation. In the third quarter of this year, Beidou Apollo tested more than 16 million kilometers in level four self-driving, which is an increase of 190% year over year. Beidou Apollo reached, received 411 autonomous driving test licenses in the third quarter, an increase of 237 licenses from the same period last year. Beidou Apollo has grown into the world's most active open platform for autonomous driving, with more than 210 global partners, bringing together 65,000 global developers and making 700,000 lines of code open source, Lee said. I honestly don't know how 
Google and Waymo can even compete with that. I mean, let's be honest. Beta Apollo has grown to the world's most active open platform for autonomous driving with more than 210 global partners, bringing together 65,000 global developers and making 700,000 lines of code open source. To me, this could be the world's future for autonomy. I mean, I know I love Tesla. They're working hard on this. Waymo, of course, they're doing it in a different way with the geofencing. But honestly, this is something that I think is getting not getting the credit it should be in the West. Now, Beidou hopes to expand its self-driving mobility services to 65 cities by 2025 and 100 cities by 2030, Lee said. Seems realistic considering where they're at right now. Now, notably, in addition to providing self-driving services to the mobility market, Beidou-backed smart new energy truck company Deepway unveiled its first smart heavy truck called Ying2 in late September, marking the start of the tech giant's self-driving tech being used in the freight market. Deepway is a joint venture formed by Beidou and Lionbridge Logistics to explore opportunities in the robo truck sector using technology accumulated by its self-driving division, Apollo. The first generation of Zing2 will first enable level three autonomous driving on high-speed freight routes with plans for high-speed level of four autonomous driving within the next three years. In his letter today, Lee also reiterated the schedule for the car building program of Beidou's car making arm, Zhidou Auto, saying that the unit will unveil its first concept car at the Beijing Auto Show next year with the goal of mass production by 2023. Now, here's my question, and I think here's a question I have for you and something worth thinking about. Let's say the Chinese government, they've clearly approved all this self-driving, right? Let's say they start approving freight self-driving. Let's say that this becomes a big thing by 20 and 30 in China and that a lot of freight in China is self-driven, so they don't need employees to drive it, this would save China billions of dollars in the cost of freight and would mean that they would have a significant advantage in terms of their cost competitiveness in these areas. What would it also mean? Well, could they sell this technology to basically truck companies in America, truck companies in Europe, where you build a truck, Beidou and Apollo supply you with the autonomous driving technology, which would be a game changer. I mean, it's impossible to compete with this kind of technology if you have a company with staff. It's just, it's just imagine paying, say, three drivers to do your deliveries or paying no drivers and just paying money for this service. So this is honestly an area where, I mean, I hope that in America, in Europe, we can start fast tracking this technology because I think this is another area where China has an advantage and has a lead. And this is just something the West is completely unaware of. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is an area that we should be concerned about, about China taking over in this autonomous freight, or, you, know, you know, autonomous driving and autonomous buses and autonomous taxis? Could this be an area where Beidou and Apollo actually join with their 65,000 global developers to actually take over this industry? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.